Hey everybody, this is Ardwick, and welcome to The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages. This game was released along Oracle of Seasons in 2001 for the Game Boy Color. It might not be as well remembered as, say, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, Wind Waker, etc., but I certainly think that this Zelda game brings a lot of new and interesting things, interesting things to the table. There we are. Um, I haven't completely played this game in perhaps nearly a decade now, but I remember it well enough to not get lost. And I have done some practice work before, so I should be able to play this just fine. Um, I haven't seen that many Let's Plays of this um, on, on YouTube or anything. Curious, because it is such a great game. And, well, hopefully by doing this, it'll bring this game into the spotlight a bit more. Well then, let's get started, shall we? Huh. Complete and utter silence. Well, as you may have already noticed, we don't start with any items in particular. I can't access my start menu. So there's that to consider. I've got no choice but to proceed. What's with those trees? So right off the bat, you might notice something strange. Um, in, in the Zelda games, Hyrule was... Uh, I mean, uh, Nehru was actually a deity, like a goddess. So to suddenly hear her name be said so casually, it's rather bizarre. What an oddly specific quest. Not you. Animals Utopia. So this particular screen, or the entire world that we're in? Either way, I look forward to seeing what that actually means. Oh, that's a that's a rock? I thought that was a tent. I always thought it was a tent, said ever since I was a kid actually. Isn't it possible to vault over it or something? It's not that tall. Hmm. Well, alrighty then. Okay then. But first things first, what's down here? Oh, not much. Okay. Ooh, I like this music. No, of course, as soon as I say that. I wonder who owns a literal tree house. I guess we'll see. Sorry, I just wanted to be quiet for a second. This game is really fantastic music, in case you haven't noticed. Um, it's part of the course for most Zelda games, but I think you'll really love uh, the music in this game. Especially if you uh, if you have a passion, not really a passion, more like a, um, an interest in older 8-bit music. Indeed. Huh. So is that the actual goddess or a person? <laughs> you know what? It's actually kind of funny. Look look at this. There's a bird here and a bear, and they're the exact same size. I'm not sure if that's the way it's supposed to be, or if it's just the way the graphics are, but that's kind of funny. Anyway, he talked to other people here, and then he talked to the bear again. 
and he'll get out of the way, which leaves us open to see what's going on. We are? Oh, right, right, of course. Hiya, Ralph. Or Rolf. Ah, so we're not in Hyrule at all. We are in fact in a place called Labrina. Wait, what was that? Evil? What? On what grounds do you claim that there's evil afoot? Alright, alright, Rolf, we'll hold you to that. It probably helps that you are, in fact, an oracle. What's this? <laughs> well, whoever you are, you're quite a... You're quite bold saying these things. Oh, okay. Well, let's put that uh, let's put that protection thing to the test, shall we? All right, Link, protect the fair maiden against um. Uh, what? Who the? Oh, you're welcome. Not a problem. The sake? You mean the tent? You've been waiting for somebody to push a tent over? How long have you been waiting for that? Alright, Link, it's time to do your heroic thing and protect her at all costs to make sure that nothing terrible happens. Or, okay. Late to react there, Rolf. Huh. Could Nehru do that, or did it have to take the power of both Nehru and there to make that possible? Either way, we're kinda screwed. Wait, how are you talking if you've already gone through the... Never mind. Ha! Well, that's one way to end a date. Kind of fulfilled his wish. Well, we kind of screwed up, didn't we? In fact, this is completely our fault now that I think about it. So if Hyrule's big bad messengers didn't come along to save this land, then there wouldn't be anything, any trouble to begin with. It really is our fault.
I did? If anything, I screwed over the world, but I guess you're safe at least. No kidding. Well, let's face it, but it was going to be up to me no matter what. Okay, we got the hero's wooden, wooden sword. So basically, I'm wielding a sharp plank. Okay. Make you a tree. Alright then.